Okay, now we're going to be putting together the extruder, the structure for the extruder, and this is a mechanism that works like a hinge. And it'll work in this fashion, and it's a simple mechanism that really allows a, um, an idler bearing to go against a, the shaft of a motor that also um, has a device that will, will grab onto the, the PLA or the ABS filament. You'll need these two pieces, a one and a half inch screw, a 5 16 inch bolt, a nut for the 5 16 inch bolt, a 5 16 inch bearing, three washers for these, um, these bolts, these are I think M5 or M4, um, a washer for a quarter inch, this would be, would be going with this screw, and then two quarter inch nuts. You'll also need a, a stepping motor, and the stepping motor will be attached to this piece, and this piece um, will, will house the, uh, the idler bearing. We'll start by putting together these two pieces in a hinge form. On this side, not this side that has a, um, a depression in the wood, on this side insert a screw in this location, the one and a half inch screw, and you're gonna slide it into this hole right here. We'll use the washer so it will give it some ability to, to move a little bit. And we'll be using two, two nuts here, so you will be able to tighten the nut on, um, against each other and not against this, um, this washer. You can do it, you know, finger, just so it gets kind of snug to the end, or where it stops. And then we're going to tighten these two against each other. To be able to tighten these two nuts, you'll need a tool that will be able to be thin enough, like a standard, um, standard wrench. Um, to be thin enough to not overtake one of the uh, overtake this particular nut, so you can use this um, along with a, a standard pair of pliers and tighten it. You can also use maybe another another wrench and tighten it that way too, and you'll get, get it tight enough so this will stay together, but this will still be able to move. Before you actually put this serrated hub onto the uh, shaft of the motor. We'll want to put the motor in into the um, into its place first, and then we'll add this serrated um, serrated hub to the motor, so we can determine um, at what depth we need to install this this device. Okay, so the the stepping motor will be aligned on this um, on this part, or it will be oriented in this way. This will be at the top of the machine on this side. So you'll want the, the connector, whatever kind of connector will be on the stepping motor, to be near the top so it can connect directly to the stepping motor driver. Prior to adding the, the motor, we'll want to add a tie, plastic tie, into these two holes that will be holding the extruder assembly, the hot end. You'll need to align these, this hole, this hole, and the one in the back with these three holes here. And we're gonna be using these washers and these these screws you want to try to um, tighten it evenly all the way around because there's going to be a little space around yes. the edge here since there is a lip there is a lip on the front of the the stepping motor or you can also put um, washers um, in this space now we can add the, the idler uh, bearing to this portion just take the the 5 16th inch um, bolt and put the um, the bearing over that just screw it in here Okay, and then we're going to put the 5 16 inch nut on the other side. Okay, now we need to install the serrated hub onto the shaft of the motor. When we're putting the serrated hub on the shaft, we want to position it in a way that it'll align with the, it'll align with the bearing. You can go ahead and press the, press the bearing against the against the hub and allow the set screw to, to be located where you'll be able to tighten it 
and then tighten the set screw. Okay, once it's tight enough, you can tighten the rest of the way on the motor without the aid of the bearing. Okay, now we have a good alignment with the bearing. And it still clears the set screw, and be careful that this is clearing the, the motor, the 5 16th inch nut, uh, bolt. If it doesn't, then just add, add washers um, between this bolt and the um, bearing. This device will include these this two um, depressed areas or grooves and that's used for a rubber band or or some kind of tightening device you can also just drill a hole right in the middle um, all the way through both of these pieces and just use a, use a screw and a nut to tighten these down if you need to but a rubber band should be sufficient because you don't really need this is um, it's located all the way to this um, this end so you're getting a lot of torque um, or a lot of uh, force on um, between here between the bearing and the uh, serrated hub so you should be fine and it's really only to grab the the PLA or ABS and, and push it into the and push it into the um, extruder you'll also notice using this new extruder um, versus the old one the old one had a, a lot larger uh, diameter uh, and the older um, the older extruder structure had a depressed area here, but this, that's not needed with this particular extruder since the uh, PTFE hole in the middle aligns very well with the, um, with the bearing and the serrated hub. And it really doesn't have to be all the way up. You can bring it down just a little bit. And then we can put a, a tie around this location and a hose clamp around this location to keep this in place. Before we put this assembly onto the machine, we will add the we will add the extruder to this assembly like so since this entire assembly is going to get rather hot we'll be using we'll be using the heat sink and we'll use some ceramic tape to insulate the the tie that we'll be using and this is really just to hold the top of the assembly in place prior to doing that we'll need to we'll need to add the hose clamp so add this hose clamp onto this portion. You can see I, I kind of shaped it as a rectangle so it will go around this portion. And this will also serve a little bit as a heat sink itself. Get the ceramic tape. Okay, so that's held in place. Now all we need to do is screw the, um, or tighten the, wor the, tighten the, the hose clamp using its worm drive screw. Okay, that's pretty tight. Now let's see how stiff this is. So we can tighten this a little bit more. Now it's very tight. Now this mechanism is ready to be installed on the machine. We'll be adding the assembly to this part of the Z-axis assembly. We'll just slide it onto these three screws. And it'll be this screw hole, this screw hole, and this screw hole. And we're gonna have to slide this up. Okay, and you'll notice that you'll see that we have nuts to serve as spacers and we do that because of a lot of this stuff that is between the two pieces of wood so we want to make sure that we get it in there but we have enough space to work with. So position those three nuts and then uh, we need to get it in a little farther than that. Okay, Okay, so we're good. Now we can add the nuts to the other side of the wood. So this should be the end result after putting that mechanism onto the Z-axis assembly.